had DJs for the past couple of weeks, and I was telling my producer, I was like, no, I feel like they have somebody who deep, you know? And you know, when you say deep in the creative world, you need to go to either a, like a jazz artist, a soulful singer, or a poet. <laughs> yeah! And I was like, the deepest of them all is a poet. They're always coming here with like deep things to say. And I'm always just like, wow. I don't know what I'm about, but yeah, I do a thing that isn't kind of like the way they speak is deep. Okay, good afternoon and welcome Anthony with an X. Um, he is not only a poet, he's also a corporate MC and has done quite a lot of performances all over BW. Hi, Anthony with an X. Hi, I am. How are you? I am well. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. I'm so happy that you've joined us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I am looking forward to a very deep, <laughs> deep, meaningful conversation with you. I hope it will be. <laughs> because I am with a poet. Why do you think people say poets are deep? Um, really, I, I don't know. Maybe um, uh, because back in the day, we used to have poets, Bele, um, those people by Langwari, you know, the Whenever they perform, they use this, um, you know, jargons and yes. big words, you know, those kind of things. So I think um, from then, that's when people started thinking, what are your, you know, poetry is about, you know, such words where you go on and, you know, uh, make a, a, make a, make a, you know, a, a PCA, you know, it's just, you know, big, big words and then yeah. you know, how um, your listeners don't even understand, but they just love it because you just said big words. But you know what though, there's some poets that don't use big words, Absolutely. but mm. but that's still deep. You know, yes. I, mean, I just feel like poets generally, whether you're going to use difficult <laughs> words or you're going to use simple English language that we use, mm. it's the way you guys just put it together. You know, uh, thank you so much. Uh, On behalf of poets, thank you yeah. so much. I think, um, like I said, uh, it was, you know, uh, back then. Mm. Uh, and then um, as we started, as, as we grew, um, for lack of a better word, I'll use that one as we started to grow up and people started to understand what poetry really is. That's when people now, the whole similar, you know, the relaxation, relaxation yeah, but mm. and all those kind of things. Because what's important, what get the message? We, not, we, yeah. just, we, we don't go on stage to charm people with jargons. Mm. Uh, we go on stage, you know, with a purpose to bring about message to the people. Fantastic. Yeah. You performed at Ngani DHMT Excellence Awards Ceremonies. You've also performed at the Arts Performance Night Real Park Mall. And you performed at, at the Botswana First Lady and National AIDS and Health Promotion Agency last sprint towards ending AIDS by 2030 Roadshow in Mawung. And you hosted <laughs> the Muscom CEO Farewell Dinner event in Mawung. <laughs> Um, I, okay, I was born in Mahalape, okay. uh, but I was, um, I would say, uh, um, nurtured Komau, because uh. I only, um, I did my primary school go Mahalape, and then from there on, I went to Mau. that's where I, uh, you know, uh, completed my uh, secondary school, mm. and then I came to Gaps for my, um, tertiary, and then I went back to Mau. uh, so I would say, uh, um, you know, Mau is, uh, it's, it's, it's my home, so, uh, but I don't even want to say it's my second home, it's my home. It is yeah. your home. So, growing up, have you always been that guy <laughs> with a thing for words and knowing how to get your way? <laughs> um, I I don't know. Uh, for, 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 I, I would say um, f I'm, I'm a bit different from many uh, in terms of me. I've always been just, um, just a normal person. I don't know what normal is, but okay. you know, that... <laughs> I, I've that always is been, whatever that normal yeah, whatever, is, no, whatever, whatever normal means. I've always been that kind of a person. Really long, but, um, I I really okay. I, when I was doing I think my form five, that's when I was intrigued um, by I would say um, um, rap music. Yeah. But I wasn't so much into it because um, my friend Kenemoto Longhari was doing that and he was doing amazing with rap music and then when we came to UB or uh, to, to Gaps that's when I now started uh, you know wanting to do something with that love mm. and then uh, I started writing poetry 
also because my brother was also a poet. I started, you know, writing poetry and, you know, um, going around, um, letting people hear what I wrote. And they, most of them gave me, you know, um, green light or go on that other yeah. day, thumbs up. And, I, and how about your family, your parents? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I went there. I mean, <laughs> I gotta, you're talking about creative industry. Oh, creative yeah. industry, I think it's kind of a, to our parents, by long route, say, kind of a, too traditional Neanderthals. I would say in about, about, to them is a new baby. Mm. It's, it's just a new you know, baby in the block. So yeah. I'm a poet or I'm doing poetry. So for my um, parent, my mother, Lena, she never really understood how to get a poetry in a but um I, I we, we made it up, you know, I took her uh, with, on my journey. I guess I'm not going to get like a homo supers or a poet king, and she appreciated it to the point that even when I perform, she goes there to, you know, um, watch me perform. And so now she's all supportive, she's all for you being a poet, all of that. To some extent, but how was Mala Ho? I got a Hua Ching Cheng and I'm just a woman, I didn't know. She says, she, she says, she says, she says, she says, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Hey. <laughs> So I, I would say parents, yeah, on parents. good days, but um, she's really she's really supportive. Ella, Juan, Ella, generally, I would say she's very supportive. Fantastic. That's what it's about. I think nowadays, uh, a lot of us are, are being are, are able to live off this. Um, obviously, it's not easy. You gotta Absolutely. juggle one, two, three, four things yeah. and go for you to still be able to do it. Absolutely. Yeah, but do you think that you know the next generation would be able to just say, look, the only thing I'm doing now is I am a poet. I'm not doing anything else. I think you're very much aware of one of the football stars that has been giving their coaches a bit of a problem in about the 12,000. Yeah. You know, about the 12,000 per month. Mm. And, mm. Uh, you know, they feel like, again, that's a whole lot. And, mm. they, and he also wants one point five for a bonus, bonus, right? Bonus, yeah. And they feel like, again, that's a lot. That's a lot. But it's like, that's, this is all the person does. No, and so I read this comment. You know this comment? I'm like, you know, it's not going to be like But you, you are making us inefficient in the mm, one thing that, that we, we are so great at. at. Mm. Hey, so do you think it's going to be different in the next few years? Um, I hope so. Uh-huh. And I, 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 me being an optimist, I would, I would say, yeah, it will be. Because... Um, High level, you know, um, in the previous years, uh, people did not understand really, you know, what poetry was, especially, you know, this contemporary poetry. Because the traditional praise poetry. But uh, people are appreciating what poetry really is. Yeah. Even um, even our government, that's why we have, you know, the presidency competitions where poetry is. Oh, which of, is such a great you know, initiative. Yeah, it is, absolutely. Love it. So, um, so I would say, um, in, 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 in the next, you know, in the next years, um, people would really understand much to a deeper level what poetry is. Maybe they will be able to appreciate it, and we will be able to live off poetry in nine to five. We are trying to, um, and get uh, uh, you know, I usually I have friends in South Africa by long run they do poetry. Um, last year, the year before last, um. One of the guys came to you know Maung Ailemong International Arts Festival. Mm. Uh, they get lane and the guy, um, when he went back to 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 South Africa, um, he he told us he actually posted on Facebook or a, a super you know the net profit gain or way to really oh, wow. of poetry, and it was over hundred thousand rands. Wow. And I was like, wow. So if you know, I understand Juan Hori, you know, these are two different countries and all that. Yeah, but yeah. if South Africa if South Africa can do it, well long hard it's you know, we are closer to and it doesn't people by Lombardi I think we can we can do it. We really uh, can. We, we absolutely can. Hey, well I think you are a hey rea nice show dear. Yeah, whom be a nigga or ready to add the booze as usual, my loyal listener. Where's the loyal listener? You draw a letter on pen. Whom do you know how I'm doing? You draw a letter. All right, in just a little bit, um, we're gonna hear from Anthony with an X. If you don't know him, then this is your chance.